Hi everyone, it's Tim Topham here again for my regular fortnightly uh, repertoire wrap. Uh, but this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different and that's to talk about a new piece of kit that I've recently got. So a new piece of technology that I've been exploring with my students and also with my own playing. Uh, and it's called the Soundbrenner Pulse. And it's this thing that I'm wearing on my wrist. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this and how it works and how it could be useful for you and your students in your teaching. Uh, as you come on the call, if, uh, if you wanna just say hi, that would be fantastic. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you can hear me okay uh, and that, uh, that you're listening would be fantastic. All right, so we all know that this device here is a bit of a student nightmare. Uh, and look, it's, it's been around for a long time. It serves an incredibly useful purpose. But we all know that students really aren't huge fans of using it, right? Uh, it, um, even in an app form, it's still just clicking away and uh, can be fairly, you know, not fun to play with for students. So I find that if I ask students to do it, if they're very committed and perhaps working towards an exam or some kind of assessment and they need to get their technical work up to a level, then they'll often, they'll, they'll use it. But for most students, it really isn't something that they're gonna have much fun with. So I've taken to using drum beats a lot with students and just putting on an app with a drum beat. So Super Groove Metronome is a great one for that. Pretty much you open the app and you press play and you've got a drum beat and even that's, better than click, 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 particularly if you're doing something modern. So I'd recommend that. However, with the advent of this new device, we've got a complete new paradigm shift for metronomes. And this is a wearable, vibrating, silent metronome, right? And I'm gonna show you how it works in just a second. So the thing that this allows you to do is get students to actually feel pulse and beat and rhythm for that matter, rather than hearing it. And we know that both are important, so it's great for students to be able to play along to a click. But with this one, they can actually get a sense of the vibrations given to a pulse by actually wearing it. So I think that's a pretty cool uh, shift in thinking for this kind of um, rhythm work that you're doing with students. So what I might do is actually just show you now how it actually works. I'm, actually, I'm gonna bring the, uh, the screen over to my, um, actually I'll just show you from, from here firstly. So I've, just, I've got it on now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on by twisting and holding down two fingers and you'll see it light up and it vibrated at me. So it's not actually doing anything at the moment. All I do, two taps, and you may even be able to hear it vibrating, right? If I turn the dial, I'll get a faster beat. And the pulse is strong. Like this isn't like a, a, an iPhone vibrating at you. This is a strong pulse. I can turn it down or I can tap a pulse that I want. And it will match me. So that's pretty cool, right? Straight, a lot, uh, straight out of the box, you can put this on and you've got something that works. You don't even need an app, but I'm gonna show you what the app does because that just puts this on another whole level, right? So that's the, the simple functions, two taps and you stop it. Now, uh, I should mention it also comes with two straps. So uh, if you happen to be a drummer or something like that and you prefer to wear it around your ankle or even pianists could do that, I guess, uh, you could do that. You could put it on your upper arm. So there's two lengths of strap and the actual round section here just comes out and goes into a new strap. So let's check out the actual um, app and how this works uh, so you can get a feeling for the capability because I think this is pretty cool. All right, so this is the Soundbrenner metronome app. I think you'll be able to see that okay. Give me a thumbs up if, uh, if you're live and, and can see that all right. I think I'll just go to about there. Uh, so if I double tap, these two will actually uh, hook up and link. So let's just make sure that the, the two are linked. I'm just gonna add my metronome to connect the two together. So they're now synced. And you can see as this flashes, so these bars are flashing here. And I can change the tempo here. 
or I can continue to change the tempo or start and stop it on the actual device too. So either way works. So with this just vibrating along here now, I could easily play a scale and keep in time. Two, three, four. Just as well you couldn't see my um, finger choices when I did that little demonstration. All right, so that's kind of the, the basic overview of how you can use it. Now the app allows you to do some more pretty cool things. So the four boxes up here each have three little boxes in them and this actually changes the accenting and, both, and also the colors on the device. So if I now play, you can see the first pulse is now green and it feels different. The reason that this can be helpful is one for helping students feel a downbeat the other thing I like about this is that you can explore multiple time signatures and different beat groupings. So for example, in 4-4 four, four time, sometimes music has that kind of 1-2-3-1-2-3-1-2-1-2-3-1-2-3 feel to it, right? So what I could do is I could actually put this uh, in an 8-8 eight, eight pattern, which will give me the ability now, you can see there's 8 uh, boxes across the top here. So I could now go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and changing the first of each of those accent groups to give us that pattern. So now if I start it, I can feel one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and you can see the color changing as well at the right time. It's a bit slow, so I'll just speed it up a bit. You might have been able to hear that. So I can go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, etc. Okay? So that's a pretty cool use of this when you're working with alternate beat groupings for students, perhaps. Another thing you could do is if you're exploring swing, we know that for a lot of students, just getting the groove of swing can be a little bit challenging sometimes. So you can actually show them on this, you can get it to vibrate in subdivisions and here are all the different options. So we could go to triplets for example, and I better slow that down. And I'm going to change the beat groupings back so they're all the same again, because all I want to hear now, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now I've got a triplet feel. I've always liked doing op, op, um, scales in triplets uh, over three octaves. That's always a good fun thing to do. So now that they've got the triplet feel, you could just take out the uh, middle note and they'll feel And if I put it on here, you'll probably be able to hear it a bit louder. Da, 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 da. So they could potentially, if you needed to work on some swing rhythm rhythm with them, uh, you could do some work with them having this on their wrist. The other thing about the beat groupings that I like is that I, I enjoy helping students practice scales in rhythms. I think it's good for technique, it uh, makes things a little bit more interesting and often a bit more challenging. So if you have a look on the app here, the beat groupings, you also have a whole lot of ooh, sorry, rhythmic ideas that you can use as well. So for example, just a simple dotted rhythm. probably hear that. So I could play a scale along to that. Which is very different to the swing rhythm and you could have a discussion with, with students about that. Uh, you could ask them, you know, put on a different pattern and they could play a scale according to this rhythm. Thing. So if that's something that you do with your students, that could be a really great uh, way to use this app as well.
and and this this metronome. So I'll just pop the camera back over here. Uh, sorry about the. Uh, <laughs> hope I've made too many people too sick <laughs> from that little movement. Um, so look in in summary. I mean, I've I've just I've shown you just a few of the the basic ideas of how you can use this, and it's 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 got a lot of potential. I've explored it with a few of my students. Some of my teenagers uh, have taken it home and, and mucked around with it, and they think it's certainly think it's it's pretty cool. There's a few other features of this which I think could be really useful to uh, many of you, particularly if you're uh, playing in church and worship bands or any kind of band. What you can actually do is link up to five of these together. So if you have ever been in a situation where you'd like to use a click track with your playing, then this will actually avoid people having to wear headphones and link up to a computer just clicking away to keep everyone in time. And I know a lot of bands do this. People do it in pit orchestras and that sort of thing too. So this would actually allow you to be able to feel you'd all have one of these on and you'd link one of them and say one of them is a master. So whoever's got the master either on their device or on their app, they can set a tempo. Of course, the other thing that, that you might not realize this thing can do is they can, you can save all these patterns as well. You can even save beats and click tracks or whatever it is over a certain period of time. So you could say that it's 32 bars long or it changes at a certain amount of time to a different time signature. Like, it's actually incredibly complex if you go right into depth on it. I'm at the moment just kind of giving you the quick overview because I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm getting a few thumbs up, which is great. Let me know if, uh, if this sounds like a pretty cool thing that you could use. The other thing it does if you're a music producer or you work with students in uh, digital audio workstations is it actually links directly into those. So it can be a metronome that can be used directly with a DAW, D-A-W, digital audio workstation for people that are doing music production. I don't do a lot of that anymore, but when I was doing it as a music producer, I could see that this could be incredibly useful as a tool. So as a quick summary, you can change your beat groupings, your accenting. Uh, there's three different levels of accenting. I only showed you really well, one or two. Uh, you can get it to change colors, do different colors, or you can turn the colors off completely, which means that really a student who's you know, performing potentially with this could be at the, at the keys pretty happily playing away and no one would have any idea that they've got a device like this on. Now, of course, I'm not a huge proponent of using metronomes in performance, but there might be that time that a student just needs to get over the line or they're rushed or whatever it is, and this could be a trick that really helps them. All right, so when uh, I got this, I got this as a review copy. Thank you very much to the Soundbrenner team uh, for sharing this with me. And when they found out that I was gonna do a quick Facebook Live about it, they said, Tim, fantastic. Would love to offer your viewers a discount. So the Soundbrenner retails for 99 US, uh, but with my coupon code, you're gonna be able to get 15% off if you're interested in it. Uh, there's absolutely no pressure to buy, of course. Uh, just something that you might want to check out uh, a little bit more information about. They've got a really comprehensive website, lots of reviews from people who are using it. Uh, so I'd recommend checking it out. And I've set up a landing page on my site which has got the details and the, co the code that you'll need. And that's at timtopham.com slash pulse, P-U-L-S-E. This is called a pulse, by the way, just in case you're wondering why I'm calling it pulse. Uh, so look, I hope that's, that's helpful. It's, it's been really interesting to explore stuff. You know that I'm really keen to explore new technology that could be useful. And I don't jump in and just share every single app that I find because ultimately not everything is gonna be relevant for all teachers. But this one I thought, oh, it's actually got some real potential to use in a studio. And maybe your students don't buy them. Maybe you have one and you use it in lessons or try one out for your own practice. Or as I say, if you're in a band, maybe you'd like to try using it uh, for some rehearsals or a click instead of it having using a click track. And then as you get used to it, maybe a student who's would like some more help with this could either borrow one from you or maybe they do go out and uh, you can encourage them to buy one. Totally up to you how you'd like to do it uh, or whether you would like to explore it at all. Totally um, up to you. 
So as I said, head to timtopham.com slash pulse uh, and you'll be able to find out more about the device, link to their website, a couple of videos, and also that coupon code to give you 15% off if you're interested in grabbing one. All right, so that's all from me. Uh, I'm gonna power this thing down. All you have to do is turn, hold two fingers, and it goes off, that's it. And it's got a little charger, little charging base like this. So you can just sit it on, where are we? You can just sit it on that base, like a watch, or an Apple watch or something like that, uh, and it will charge up. And it just connects to usual USB. Okay, so there you go. Hope that was useful. I'll be back in a couple of Wednesdays time talking uh, again about music. We're gonna get back to some more cool music. Two weeks ago, I, was, I finished my two-part series on late beginner music. So I'm gonna go just a little bit harder than that in the next one to, you know, a bit more, still kind of late beginnery, preliminary level music for exam boards uh, over here. So I hope that's really, really useful. That kind of period of a student's learning, it's great to have some fresh uh, material to explore. So uh, stay tuned for that. Two weeks time on a Wednesday, I'm gonna try and do these about this time, which I think is about 8 p.m. in the States, depending on where you are, and uh, mid-morning here in Australia. So I'm gonna go out and enjoy a coffee in the sunshine. Hope you have a great day today or a good night, and uh, I'll speak to you really soon. Bye-bye.